a uh, kia ora ko Ngāti Mūtunga o Whakakauri, ko Pūwai me Ngāti Tohura o ku iwi, uh, ko Christy Lee Thomas um, tuku ingoa. So kia ora, I'm Christy Lee. Um, I'm a risk disaster risk scientist at GNS Science. Um, in my day to day, that could mean a lot of things. Um, it could mean um, doing some analysis and some research in an Excel or R or um, GIS. Um, it could mean going out and talking to a range of stakeholders through workshops and interviews about what they need from disaster risk science. Um, it could be having a hui at a marae, um, you know, sharing stories and designing cool research projects with tangata whenua. It could be you know writing up reports. It could be going to a school and giving a talk about science. So uh, my role is quite diverse, but essentially it's um, piecing together different different types and strands of knowledge um, to figure out how people might be impacted during disasters and what we can do to reduce those impacts. Um, I think you know back in if I was back in high school again, and I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my career and and what to study at uni. I wouldn't panic about not knowing what to do right now and where you're going to go. Um, I think it's really important to take your time to make those decisions. And there is a lot of pressure that you know gets put on you in year 13 or year 12 about what subjects to take um, and you know what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Um, but you know you can change um, you can change things as you enter uni. And I would I would advise that you take a wide range of subjects um, in your first year and in, in whatever science you choose or whatever STEM um, degree that you choose and and most degrees will allow you to do that um, so make sure that you take you know take different different diverse sciences and that'll give you a chance to figure out what you really like um, and you can always switch into different degrees um, you know don't put that pressure on yourself to decide right now what you're going to do for the rest of your life um, and you know, find your passion in those different sciences and chase it. You know, take every opportunity that you can. Um, you know, if your lecturer offers you to do an extra little bit of work for something, do it because um, it'll take you places. And the work that you do is always going to be worth it. Um, so put in those hard yards, and it'll get you where you want to get. Um, I started in engineering um, because there was a lot of incentive at the time for women in engineering. Um, there were scholarships available for women in engineering, but I found it wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, so I switched to a science degree. So I cross credited um, some of my engineering courses uh, into a science degree. And one of the biggest challenges was actually, you know, backing myself. Um, and when I, you know, first made that move to switch out of engineering, I thought, you know, I'd failed. Um, I wasn't smart enough. Um, but really, that was okay to take that step, and it was probably the best decision I made because I wasn't into engineering. It's not my cup of tea. But I found my passion in something else, and it wasn't that I wasn't smart enough, um, and it wasn't that I, you know, didn't work hard enough to get the concepts or understand um, and have, you know, a little bit of passion and. Um, drive to do that it was more that it wasn't the right thing for me and and that was the best thing I did and so I think you know don't be afraid to make those changes you're not failing um, you're doing something good because you're recognizing in yourself that that's not for you um, I think there's also challenges in uh, yeah being aware of your background your unique perspective that you bring to science um, and that not everyone has that and so you need to make sure that you know you've got you've got the rights to stand in that ground and you've got things to contribute so um, you know don't back down when people are like oh no you're wrong or um, you're not smart enough to be here or um, you know, this is this is not your field of science. You don't have a place to talk when you actually do, and it's important to bring those different perspectives in because we won't progress with science unless we have those cross disciplines, trans disciplines, um, working together to solve these big issues and problems that we have. Um, so yeah, back yourself, and you're smarter than than you think. There was a point in my master's research where uh, I organised a workshop um, with lots of diverse uh, end users, stakeholders in the research. So there was, you know, infrastructure managers, there were emergency managers, there was people from the hospital, Māori Health, uh, you know, representatives from across the community, and they were all putting 
all their efforts and their thoughts into you know solving challenges and finding solutions to um, what we can do about tsunami uh, risk and impact and there were some really innovative solutions there and that's when I sort of looked around and I thought yeah I think this is what I want to do um, I think I can help in this sort of area and I want to see some cool changes um, to help people I think that was when I was like yep this is this is cool and you know in high school science you don't get exposed to those different kind of options or career um, career options and so science and work is quite different to the science that you do in school and I think knowing what I know now I definitely want to be a scientist.